light than apparently with all the technology, so. All right, Steve, I'm ready, thank you. The college admission scandal. Whew. I mean, if my parents in the front row had paid a half a million dollars for me to get into a school, it better be Hogwarts. <laughs> for some reason, a handful of parents in the college admission scandal think that education plus the right college equals success, and I presume ultimately happiness. But this is happiness, pure, raw joy. When was the last time you felt like this? I've worked as an educator for the majority of my career, and I can tell you, the secret sauce is learning what you love from the people you love in a place you love. And I love this word, stoke. There is nothing better than being in someone else's stoke. And stoke is extremely contagious. Anyone who's whooped on a powder day knows how infectious stoke can be. It's one of the best things about being a teacher, that aha moment. And I seriously love every single one of my students. I love the weird ones, the smelly ones, the awkward ones, and yes, the adorable ones. My students have been between the ages of two and 80, and I love them because each of them is a puzzle. I love discovering how to connect them with a topic that I'm trying to teach, like bugs. I led a research expedition last summer in Iceland. This graduate student drained the battery in her camera, and then my battery, and then the batteries of two other students, because every few feet she would pick up yet another rock and would exclaim, look at this one. She took pictures of rocks all day, and her stoke infected the entire group. The entire group. Because really, stoke is the magic of learning. With this in mind, I've helped to start three schools, a middle and high school based around adventure sports, a semester school, and now a micro school. Because isn't that the goal, to help students figure out what they already know they love and let them see the way to fly? I just think school can be happier, better, more stoked. I studied for a PhD, I write books, I'm a university instructor. It's not as if I'm an exile from the system who thinks that all traditional schooling is awful. Because me, I love elephants, and some people here love dinosaurs, and others love witchcraft, and some of you like starting arguments online. But <laughs> the idea is that some students dislike school, but they love learning. So I'm the first to say that I understand the value of public schools. I'm the product of a public school education, and traditional school works for my brain and how I learn. And although my high school algebra teacher would probably disagree, but I'm good at traditional school, which is why I can create these opportunities. The national high school graduation rate is 84%, and that's good news. And I never think that people intentionally kill a fire inside of us, but things like paperwork, discipline, and uninspiring curriculum can turn teaching into a job instead of a, being a calling. A Gallup poll asked students to select the top words to describe how they feel in school. For elementary students, interesting and fun top the list. For teens, bored was chosen most often, and tired was a close second. Declining happiness in school isn't a given. Because people are a bit like plants or fish. We all thrive in different systems. I know the people in my life are unique, with different things that drive us, and we should push each other to dream big. Sir Ken Robinson said, the problem isn't that we aim too high and fail, it's that we aim too low and succeed. And I happily share a few stories of my students who have aimed high. In a school I helped start, I taught English to high school students who were aspiring whitewater kayakers. For their research project, they spent a month running rivers to gather data on lines and hazards of each rapid. And for their final, they created a whitewater guidebook for the region. Another student I had at a semester school, which augments um, traditional education with place-based stoke, I was helping her to love poetry, because I love poetry, but not everyone does. And to help my students fall back in love with poetry, I asked them to shout it over the waves of the Indian Ocean and across the high mountains of the Andes. This type of education should be available to everyone, and I'll say that twice. Inspiring, stoked education should be available to every single one of us. If people are lying, cheating, and stealing to get into college, then what's the goal? Happiness? Isn't there an easier path to happiness? This is how far we've gotten away from our love of learning. Because my students, the one who have followed their stoke, they've done amazing things. The guy in the middle, the one with the spear, he was a 15-year-old work in progress. 
Um, then in his early 20s, he became the youngest delegate to the United Nations for the island of Palau. And another student, before she spent a semester with me in Africa, Seely thought that traditional education was the only key to success. After her passion for maternal health was ignited, she's recently been accepted to med school. I never dreamed I could make my passion come true, she said, and now she starts in the fall. Because every type of learner needs something to fuel their stoke, I want to help turn education on its head. Coming soon to the Gallatin Valley, a micro school, essentially a modern one-room schoolhouse for first through eighth grades, and the promise from the school is that every single student will be in love with learning. Hopefully my work won't ever be finished. I hope I continue to see options for a nation of learners both inside and outside the bubble. Because students shouldn't only love learning, they deserve to love school. They should thrive in their envi environments. They should thrive in their institutions. They deserve to be stoked every single day because people are beautiful when they're laughing and dancing and running and hiking and exploring, dreaming, playing, and yes, learning. Because education isn't about buying your way into a side door. It's not about test scores or state standards. It's learning what you love from the people you love in a place you love. The secret sauce is Stoke. So stop asking kids what they want to do when they grow up. Instead, ask them what they're stoked about. And while we're at it, kids learn from adults. Be a good stoke role model. What are you stoked about? This little boy is stoked about this little girl. <laughs> Let's bring back the stoke. Thank you.